Scotsman back again with uh, another guitar review. This one here is an acoustic single cutaway guitar. Just a basic acoustic, no electronics. Uh, the brand of the guitar is Horse, and I purchased this guitar from Amazon. Uh, let's go over uh, the details of the guitar. So, first, you can see the headstock here. Just a plain horse branded logo on the headstock. It's got a nice uh, wood finished wave type of a headstock. Decent size, uh, decent style headstock in my opinion. Um, the body of the guitar is spruce. It's a spruce laminate and you can see it has an interesting color to it. It's uh, not described by the vendor so I don't know what it is. It's sort of a smoked burst black brown type of a finish on it. Um, the sound hole has um, uh, a, 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 the rosette around it looks like it's some sort of abalone type rosette, multicolored. Again, it's not real abalone. I don't know what it is, but um, it's attractive and the inside the guitar appears to have X bracing on it. It also has around it a black trim um, uh, of some sort around the front edge and the rear edge. Okay, so it, uh, again, I don't know what the material is, uh, but it is, um, it's, it's decent looking. The back and sides of the guitar are described by the vendor as um, mahogany. So again, the guitar is a full laminate um, spruce top, mahogany back and sides. The neck on the back of the guitar is a gloss, is, excuse me, is a non-gloss. It's a very, very flat finish. Uh, the tuners are sealed tuners on, on this guitar. They are decent tuners. Um, I've had the guitar now for several weeks. They don't slip. They don't tweak at all. Um, they're fairly smooth. Uh, they've it, the guitar keeps tuned, no issues whatsoever. The bridge on the guitar is some wood type bridge. You know, you're just your basic acoustic six pin bridge on the guitar. The um, nut, if you can see the nut clearly, is a funky looking nut, and it uh, appears to be a black plastic nut. Again, it's cut fine. Hasn't had any issues at all with uh, with tuning stability. The guitar uh, plays well and doesn't go out of tune. The string height on the guitar is set up nice. It's, it's about as low as you're going to get without having any sort of buzzing. And uh, I like the, uh, the, sh the the fact that it's a low action guitar. It's very comfortable to play. The neck itself um, is not thin and not thick. Um, it has some fullness to it, but it's certainly not a not a thick thick neck by any stretch. Um, I don't know what the uh, what, what the dimensions are of the neck. I didn't honestly measure it, but it, it's comfortable for me. Um, again, it's not thick. It's not thin. It's sort of in the middle. Very comfortable. The fretboard itself um, came nice, uh, nice finish. Uh, no dryness to the fretboard at all. Um, a nice touch by the guitar manufacturer too, as you can see on the twelfth fret, uh, there's the logo, the horse head logo on it, which is also kind of a nice, uh, nice little um, extra that they they put on the guitar from a finishing standpoint. Um, here, I'll let you hear what the uh, the guitar sounds like. That's the most important thing, right? Loud and bright is the best way for me to describe this. So the guitar has uh, a very, very loud, bright sound to it. If you're looking for something that's warm, something that has a, a, a deeper or lower bass end to it, this guitar really isn't probably the one for you, quite frankly. Um, I like the brighter side 
uh, of the sound spectrum. <laughs> I like bright sounding instruments, so for me this is this is great. Um, but again, if you're looking for something a little bit more bass heavy and uh, and something that's a little bit warmer, um, this guitar is not really probably the best thing for you. However, it is loud, um, which is interesting. Extremely loud acoustic guitar, and in my opinion, if it's if it's my needs, um, it's very very light. I would say this guitar probably weighs two pounds, maybe three pounds tops. Um, it is made well. Uh, the tuners, again, like I said, are decent on this guitar. Um, $119.99 on Amazon, which is a phenomenal price for something that gives you this kind of, you know, volume <laughs> of playing and, and is a single cutaway. So, uh, again, I have no complaints uh, on that. It also comes shipped with this horse logoed gig bag, okay, which is, you know, a decent gig bag. It's got plenty of protection. Um, you know, it's not a super heavy industrial strength gig bag, but it provides enough protection for the guitar. Somewhat has some padding inside uh, the front flap if you want to put picks, uh, music, extra strings, whatever in into it. Um, you know, so that's a nice touch that they throw in. So again, for $119.99, highly recommend this thing. Um, I've played a lot of low-end acoustics. I've played, you know, the lower end, the Jasmine Acoustics, the uh, the the Rogues that you can get on Musician's Friend, uh, the Mitchells that come from Guitar Center, um, uh, the low end Fenders in the stores, uh, the low end uh, Maestros from Epiphone. This guitar, in my opinion, is much better than those. Uh, so uh, it's not going to be on the same level as a as a Martin. It's not going to be on the same level as a as a Taylor. And don't let anybody fool you that it would. Um, it's, uh, you know, um, a, a, a fraction of, of the cost of, of those guitars. Um, it's not on the same, you know, playing field, quite honestly, as, uh, as a Seagull or a Yamaha. Those are better acoustic guitars. Again, you're going to pay more money. But um, Orangewood, I'll give you an example. I bought a lower-end Orangewood, Orangewood Ray, um, off the Internet. And that also ships with a gig bag. It's maybe a couple of bucks more than this. Right, maybe $135. I forget what they what they cost. I like this guitar better. Uh, I like the sound of it better. I like the feel of the neck better. Um, I like the playing experience better on this guitar. So again, my personal opinion. Um, hopefully, it helps you. I'm going to put the link to this guitar where you can purchase it on Amazon and the specifications below. And uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, or like and. Uh, uh, I highly recommend the guitar for what you're paying for it. Until the next time, stay safe and be well. Thank you.